New at 6, we're hearing from the storm chaser who captured this tornado video. KXAN's John Engel caught up with him after he chased several tornadoes today in Bastrop County. Now we saw multiple reports of tornadoes in Bastrop County today. Gabe Cox with the tornado trackers was all over the county uh, tracking several of these events. Uh, Gabe, just walk us through what you saw late morning, early afternoon. Sure. Uh, so I approached Smithville as it was, uh, the tornado was moving through there already. So I pulled right up to the storm just as it was about to cross over 71. Um, and sure enough, there was a weak tornado on the ground. Uh, it may have been stronger before. It was hard to see, tough chasing terrain with lots of trees. But the tornado crossed directly in front of my vehicle. Um, I had strong winds uh, rocking my vehicle back and forth, tree debris flying over the road. Um, and then it moved on and I tracked with it. And about 10 minutes later, I pulled up on a hill just to the northeast of Smithville. Uh, and that's when the tornado actually touched down a second time, this time much larger, uh, multi-vortex multi tornado. So several tornadoes around the main circulation. Um, and at that time is probably about a quarter mile wide, if I could estimate. Um, I was about a mile away from it at that point and I could hear the roar of the tornado from where I was. How powerful did that feel to you, just given your experience and what you've seen in the past? Uh, definitely not what I expected when I set out today. It was a strong tornado. Um, typically, when we can hear them from that far away, it means that they're spreading pretty hard. Was this moving close to residential? We didn't see a, a ton of home damage, just a little bit, especially there in Smithville off yeah. Logan Lane, which which we talked about earlier. But uh, what kind of damage did you see? Was it was it mostly rural? Yes, thankfully, um, the tornado crossed the road twice while I was chasing it. And each time it, it weakened or lifted just briefly when it crossed the road. And right along the road is the only area where I saw residential homes. Um, so luckily, I saw no structural damage. It was just trees, tree limbs I could see being lofted into the air when it was um, about a mile away out in a field. But it didn't seem like it touched any houses where I was. Gabe Cox with Tornado Trackers. Like you said, very thankful that this wasn't more of a residential event and we didn't hear those reports of injuries to people in the area. For now, in Bastrop County, John Engel, KXAN News.